Yo, what up everybody? So today I'm back with another video. I'm actually in the process of recording the wrapping video. It is gonna come out before this. I am wrapping my quarter pounds right now for the wide body. But anyway, as you guys can see, there is a package right there. Obviously you guys don't know what it is. So I'm sure there's a lot of guesses on what this could be. Not really any marking or branding on the box, but uh, let me go ahead and set it down and uh, show you guys what's inside. All right, so basically, I'm not sure if you guys do know, I have been kind of talking about it, but there is gonna be an event at the end of March, which is on the 28th uh, in Kent, Washington, which is by Seattle. It's actually gonna be a car show. So I did want to drive my car there. I know it's crazy, it's kind of a far drive. You guys know me, you know it's a little bit of a far drive from here. But in the case I did drive it, I did need something to actually carry stuff on. Like for example, my front bumper, which I definitely do not want to risk breaking on the way to the show. I did want to have something, you know, to kind of help me out on the trip there in case I do not tow it. So I'm sure that's enough of a hint to kind of guess what this is. But for the ones who don't know, let's go ahead and use this little Mexican knife and get into it. All right, so there's not really much holding this down except for this label and a little bit of tape. So, oh, okay, it's actually stapled on. So let me go ahead and use my two hands to get inside this box. Okay, so right off the bat, you can see the actual bars themselves. I did get them in aluminum just so it can kind of contrast my roof a little bit. But here is literally what one of the bars is gonna look like. The other one is in there. So let's go ahead and set this camera down and actually open up all the boxes. I'm guessing that these are all actually mounts to put it on the actual car itself. So let's get into detail and actually get these boxes cracked open. All right, so here's basically everything out. I have had a couple of roof racks, so I kind of know a little bit of how they should look, but these for sure came disassembled all the way. I'm gonna have to completely build all of them. The only types of racks I've actually owned are only the Yakima racks, which already kind of come complete basically, and they are a little more expensive. So I am gonna have to build these from scratch myself um all right guys so i have one completed this is kind of what it should basically well not kind of this is what it should look like it's actually not attached to the car as you can see it's only placed on there just for me to kind of get an idea i've only done one just so i can know step by step on how it's done so i could actually tell you guys how to do it without messing up but anyway let's go ahead and hit the table and i'll show you guys how to assemble one of these so you start off by getting your actual mount which you're going to be using as a rack this is literally how it comes just a bare metal bar and then a little black plastic seal so it doesn't rust but anyway that's what this is right here the most important piece then you get these two attachments that it actually goes onto on each side left and right it doesn't matter they're both the same these are going to be the actual base of the racks and it also comes with these plastic pieces that actually go into the mount so it actually doesn't scratch your car which is actually a plus because who wants to scratch their car it also comes with these little paddings which also go under the mounts that actually attach to the car this will go under that but we'll speak on these a little bit later once we actually get to them and we actually have a batch of screw-ons to actually attach everything together some screws obviously and some washers the end caps of the bar, nothing special. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. They did give me several sizes of these car mounts to actually go on uh, because obviously every car is different. But we'll speak a little bit on these after once we actually attach it to the car. So for now, let's go ahead and start the assembly. So we start by obviously peeling off the protection film or the packaging, whatever you want to call it. And you're left with this metal bar. So we start off by actually flipping over this bar to where the plastic is not being seen. You grab some of the hardware that they give you. Make sure you get the actual square side and not the circled one because the circled one is used for something different. You slide them in through. You grab your mount, slide it into these slots as you can see. Put on a couple washers. And as simple as that, you grab these little screw on heads, secure the mount to the rack, and it literally is as simple as that. From there, you really just have to finish the other side. Sorry about the glare, you guys are just gonna have to deal with it because the sun is going down right now. Now what you guys are gonna wanna do is actually go to your guys' car and safely move around the racks and measure them out for them to be the exact length. Like I said, there is pads underneath to prevent from scratching, but those little pets can actually pick up dirt or little rocks or anything like that and actually move around, cause your paint to scratch while you're actually playing around with the racks. What I basically did is put them up to this little lip at least and I maxed them out so they don't move. This is not the way that they do come secure. The way that they actually do secure the car is through these little brackets. Uh, they did give me several different designs for them to actually fit my car. I'm using these though because these are the ones that suit my car the best. But anyway, that's basically it uh, for this. Just know that the amount of effort that you do put into these will show once you are done with them. So make sure you do get everything sized up right. I recommend using a tape measure or a ruler. Anything that can really guarantee that you're getting the exact same amount on both sides. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and bring you guys a little bit closer and actually show you guys how these things are mounted. 
All right, so I went ahead and took off the rack from the back because the glare was kind of affecting the video a bit. But anyway, what you guys do want to do now is find the rack that actually suits your car. There isn't going to be any perfect ones, or maybe they will with these mounts since they are universal. So go ahead and just find whichever one suits your car best. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get my hardware and I'll be back with you guys. So before actually getting into putting on the rack completely, now is the perfect time to remind you guys that you guys should put these pads inside of your actual brackets themselves now before they actually scratch up or make any damage onto your car. So I'm going to go ahead and do that with all my brackets. But for now, let's go ahead and start this install. So I'm sure you guys remember the little round screw I told you guys about earlier. Now is a perfect time to use this. As you can see, there is a square cutout right here. Perfect for this bolt not to move around when you are tightening it. But once you have your screw in, all you have to do now is insert your bracket. As you can see, it's as simple as that. Now you make sure you get your washer and tighten everything down. So before tightening everything down completely, make sure you have it positioned straight and where you want it. This is exactly where I want mine, so I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it down all the way. Now you don't wanna tighten it down all the way because you will need a little bit of plate for the other side. So now that we're done with this side, let's go ahead and move on to the other side. As you guys can see, I wasn't lying about the sun. It's actually really bright right now. Let's go ahead and install this one real quick. So as you can see, I have the front one completely on and it actually looks kind of sick, I'm not gonna lie. I can't wait to finish wrapping my car, which I said I will be doing for a future video because I will be uploading this one first since it was such a quick install. But now let me go ahead and quickly install the back. Now that you guys kind of have the idea, I'm gonna go ahead and do that alone. So I'll catch you guys after. Well guys, that is it for today's video. I know it was pretty short, honestly, compared to the rest of my videos, but honestly, all I wanted to do is upload a simple install video for you guys who really don't care about my Lexus, but still want to learn something. Now you guys know how to install roof racks, which is probably something you guys didn't want to learn. But now that you guys do know, this is probably something that will be on you guys' radar for you guys' next purchase. But anyway, I'm still trying to perfect my Lexus every day. I wasn't able to actually upload the wrapping video for today. Like I had said, I was going to in the beginning of this video. For sure, be getting to that this week weekend and hoping to finish that but I do have another little project that I do want to show you guys so like I mentioned earlier I told you guys I was going to take this car to spring fest at the end of this month and I did want to switch up a couple things just because I really didn't know what to do especially since I've already done basically all I can do to this car besides a manual swap and a turbo but I honestly do have issues with my brake calipers Look how whack they look. And obviously these are painted red like every other caliper in the world. Um, I did this myself when I first had this car and it was fully stocked. But I do have a fun little project I will be uploading here soon. As you guys can see, I got myself a big brake kit. Uh, so far I only have the calipers and the brake lines from StopTech. Now I'm just waiting for my C1 slotted and drilled rotors. And for now, like I said, I'm just trying to get closer and closer to perfection. These racks are not permanent. These are for just in case I'm not able to take a tow rig. That is it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to click like if in any way, shape, or form I entertained you or informed you in this video. Please also don't forget to click subscribe. I am very close to 500 subscribers. And if you guys are subscribed, please click the bell notification because a lot of you guys don't get informed when I do post. If you guys don't follow me on social media, you guys especially don't find out. So follow me on social media or click that notification bell. But for me guys, that'll be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll catch you guys on the next video.